that some of the best paranormal tool builders in the world have left their items here. Frank has strangled me twice. Evan, stay up. Evan, stay up. Oh, flashlight. Thank you. Sometimes you will hear furniture dragging across this floor. Sometimes your face morph in the mirror, and sometimes we catch things standing behind you. I notice my face start, start to change a little bit. Come say hi. Oh. I just saw something really weird. What did you Where? see? Nobody's moving. That's kind of neat. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Overnight Channel that is dedicated to all things paranormal, extraterrestrial, mysterious, unsolved, unknown, whatever it might be. We're out there in search of answers or experiences or just cool visits like tonight where we are at the haunted Shanley Hotel. And when I say haunted, it's because if you look this up online or on Google Maps, it actually says the haunted Shanley Hotel. Yes. Oh, no other nice. place that we've been to. It's not like the haunted Alcatraz. It's just, it's no. literally, the, that is what this place is known for. That is what they do. One of the coolest things about this place and what we're doing tonight is that the owner is here. And not only is she here, she's a paranormal investigator. Oh, sick. And beyond that, this place is so well known and recognized that some of the best paranormal tool builders in the world have left their items here just be permanently used. Oh, so there's new tools we get to We're try. We're getting access to things that we've never seen before or items I've been trying to hunt down for years and they're all here. That you've been trying to hunt down for and years. And I can't get them, they're just so rare and they're here for us to use tonight. Wow. So, and what's great part is there's multiple levels, every place has different experiences, but no matter what, everyone that's ever stayed here has said they've had something happen. Wow. That's so, three stories and it's also really wide. Yeah. We have the whole thing? We have the whole thing. Every part of it. The brothel, the gentleman's the brothel? club. Yep. I'll take that and one. The, the brothel's not running right I'll now. I'll sleep. Oh, never mind. It's not running right okay. now. And also the gentleman's club now just has like five queen beds in it. So it's going to be a gentleman's club tonight. Mm. <laughs> We're gentlemen. That's cool. I, we, we are gentlemen. But right? there's six of us. I, call, I called Sharon. Should we have five of us sleep in beds mm -hmm. and then one of us perform? Yeah. Like, what performance? Yeah, what kind? Wakanda. 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 Forever. Let's get inside. When I think our intros can't get any more weird and just like, I don't know. They, get, they just get. I'm telling you, we'd be the worst improv group ever because we would like run out of the joke or the yep. bit and then just walk off stage. Yep. And like, it's got a ghost knob. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a good start. We already have some activity. Come on now, let's let's get let's. There we go. Oh, oh. Wow, look at this. By the way, uh, oh. Josh, exploring with Josh. Thank you. Uh, you've been here. You're the reason why I had so much interest in coming here. So thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Oh. Interesting coming. The Shanley Hotel, otherwise known on Google as literally the Haunted Shanley Hotel, has earned every right to claim that title. We have never been somewhere where such an incredible amount of paranormal evidence has been meticulously catalogued from nearly 25 years of evidence. Yet before we tell the tales of how the spirit realm has broken free inside the Shanley, we'll share the history of how it might have gotten there. Originally constructed in 1845 as Rich's Hotel on Main Street, it was meant as a vacation destination set just outside of the nearby larger cities. Yet as ownership changed, it quickly became an elite gentleman's club, hosting the most pristine women of its time. Almost precisely 50 years later, a neighborhood fire broke out, destroying the hotel, leaving it as nothing but a pile of ashes. Nine months later, it was rebuilt and reopened. Then, in 1906, came about the most notable owner, for which it is named, James Shanley. Adding a bowling alley, billiard room, 
and even a barber shop, his hotel became a decadent retreat of entertainment, attracting guests such as Thomas Edison and Eleanor Roosevelt. Yet with such high stature came many low moments. James and Beatrice Shanley's first daughter did not live longer than six months. Their next two children did not fare any better, with them both passing at less than ten months of age. Then Peter, the live-in barber of the Shanley, lost his three-year-old daughter forever, as she not only wandered away from the hotel, but then guided herself across the street to a nearby well, where she lifted the wooden cover and fell in. Another nearby incident occurred after a five-year-old boy jumped out of a moving car and was run over by his own father. The boy survived with many believing he leapt from the car to play with a spirit that was calling for him from the attic of the Shanley. Perhaps the darkness that comes with the operation of a mafia-run brothel and bootlegging of alcohol during the prohibition is what deemed the Shanley as no place for children, with the spirits taking measures into their own hands. In 1991, the Shanley shut down and was abandoned for over 10 years leaving it entirely distraught and nearly tarnished forever until Salvatore and the Koja bought the hotel, entirely unaware of its haunted past. He poured every ounce of love he could into the building, restoring it to its former glory, and so the spirits decided to make their appreciation for him rather clear. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2016, leading the Shanley to its current owner, whom we shall meet tonight. If you want to know what paranormal activity has been documented within the hotel, it would be easier to tell you what is not. Tonight, we check in to the haunted Shanley Hotel with the goal of meeting its long-term residents. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. So please make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations and locations every week. Hey Josh, if you watch our videos, text us right now. I don't think you're gonna text us right now. What should he text us to prove that he watches our videos? Hmm. Tesla, uh, give us a picture. Go to the mirror in your bathroom. Take off a little bit of clothes. Okay. Your socks, yeah, take, take off your socks. The owner is, the owner is. <laughs> She's literally right. <laughs> Yo, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Brandon. How you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm Corbin. Corbin, hi. Nice Corbin, I will never remember how old you are. How you doing? You guys all have to sign our infant infamous I waiver. I, I actually didn't read it. Yeah, it's okay. You oh. you're sold my. Here, you guys are gonna sign this paperwork, but we're not gonna read it. It doesn't say anything about being possessed or thrown against uh, the wall. Oh, we have a couple of those too, but that's okay. Well, that's why you're signing the waiver. I can mm -hmm. use a few more spirits. Exactly. You, know? you could use a few yeah, more spirits. Yeah, I could use. <laughs> how, many, how many do you have already? Um, known thirty-six. What the? Yeah. What? Thirty-six. By name, yeah. But, but there's some come and go. As far as like, they'll come in for a couple of days. We will know their name because they've mm. been here for a couple of days, and then you'll never hear from them again. So you can remember uh, thirty-six spirits' names, but you can't remember our four names. <laughs> Well, things about I've been here for 36. Well, we are ready okay, to. Uh, let's let's hit the hit the. Let's hit the ghost. Before we get the investigation started, I just wanted to stop in and give a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Atlas VPN which now has more than 5 million users. Atlas VPN encrypts all of your data while hiding your information and your virtual location, which has a ton of benefits. One of the main things is you can get around all of the geo blocks that you might have on your favorite streaming services, such as Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, to access all the shows that might be restricted in your area. And especially for us, this prevents censorship when we're traveling abroad. And the other key thing is that when we're on public Wi-Fi, it hides all of our data, it encrypts our location, it reroutes everything, so the identity theft risk is completely minimized. Atlas VPN is having a special currently that is a three-year deal, $1.39 per month with a 30-day money-back guarantee that allows you to go online change your location to get around any geo blocks you might have to help you find better airline tickets, online shopping, hotels, any deals like that. Click the link in the description and sign up right now 
You got nothing to lose. You got everything to gain. Thank you, Atlas VPN, for sponsoring the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And enjoy the rest of this night. And uh, Corbin might... Uh, Cor Just wait. Just wait for what happens to Corbin. Okay. Bye, guys. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Yeah. I've never seen a different type of dowsing rod. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I've, I've only seen Look at this. these. So the building you're standing in right now was rebuilt within six months in 1895. And that was all manpower because of obviously there's no power tools back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, in 1906, the Shanleys purchased the hotel, and that's kind of where the hotel got its notoriety. Thomas Edison stayed here. What? Eleanor Roosevelt was very good friends with Beatrice Shanley. She stayed here. Times Square was almost called Shanley Square, from what we hear from the Shanley clan <laughs> that has come here. Wow. So in 1906, they purchased it. Um, Beatrice lost three children here, all before the age of nine months old. Uh, Beatrice's sister, Esther, died here uh, in 1918 of the Spanish flu. And then in the 70s, um, this was the James Shanley Tavern. This was a, a bar oh. in the 1970s and 80s and the, into the early 90s. Um, in the early 90s, the whole sh place shut down and became abandoned for almost 15 years. And this gentleman right here in 2005 purchased the uh, building and tax auction, didn't know what he was buying. Um, he didn't know it was haunted, but he said the building always called to him, that's Salvatore Nicosia. After a couple days, he realized how special this building was and the paranormal activity that was happening just in the couple days he was here. Switched his whole concept of what he was going to do with the building and made it the, the haunted paranormal tours the yeah. hotel. Back in 2017, it went back up for tax auction and I was able to buy it. Oh, yeah. so you're full time here now? Yeah, I'm full time. Why? Yeah, my, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my husband asked the same thing. Like when we hear about places like uh, like McRaven in Mississippi, the guy who owned the house, he had a separate house to live in when yeah. things got too crazy yeah. here. But you have no escaping. No escape. Like, uh, but yeah. your husband also lives here. Yeah. Though. Two days after I took over the building, he saw his full blown apparition standing oh, next to him. Oh boy! And it took. It took him three, three, three drinks and three weeks later to tell me. <laughs> he kept it to himself. He kept it to, well, he screamed for me. I came running in and he didn't tell me why he was screaming for me. Wow. But, so. no, that's cool. Well, yeah, we'd love to see more All of right. place. Perfect. Definitely. Let's, let's go. So it's like the spirits, they'll come and stay at the hotel. They'll leave for a little bit and they're like, all right, let's go back. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's interesting because one of the paranormal teams that used to stay here with Sal and help Sal out, he, they got an EVP, they asked, why are you here? And the EVP was, it's a hotel, isn't it? What? <laughs> That's um, wild. Yeah. What? what? So this is the daycare brothel. Yes, there, we go. there you go. This is, where, this is where we're all sleeping together. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Milton. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> It has been, been a brothel for a while. <laughs> there's only a brothel if you charge. Yeah, oh, exactly. true. There's true. only five beds. Yep. Oh, I already called Sherry. And there's one new camera guy. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait, you called Sherry? Yeah. Oh, that's the opposite you problem. You by yourself. <laughs> that is the complete opposite how this normally works. Yeah. They don't like the women in here. Mm. Oh. So I've gotten. Um, how about now, though? Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Stir up some activity. <laughs> Lights start flickering. <laughs> bar, bar, bar. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten in here through the geo box. The I asked, you know, are the women allowed to gamble? And I have very clear response: You are not welcome to gamble. Wow. Mm. Mm. So they. This is the brothel area. All I ask is watch, watch your stairs and watch your head. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. absolutely. This is so neat. You're not some lights. Oh, you have lights. Oh, wow. Can you sleep in these rooms? You can. Oh! Oh, this is Rosie's room. Yeah, all these little things on the Oh, 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 oh my shit. god. <laughs> 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 why? Why did that get me? Scares why me. did that. He gets, he gets scared that, of that. Why? <laughs> Wait, so this is the room of the girl who fell in the well? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, 
And that's her right there? Frank has gr strangled me twice. What? In only 10 years. That's not fair. Wait, who's Frank? Was it like um, while you were sleeping? Or? No, while I was investigating. Boy, it's who's like pressure Frank? around your throat. You can't you can't swallow and you gag. and. What? How long did it happen for? Um, I About the first time it happened, I wasn't quite sure what it was. And then I just said, okay, whoever's doing that, back off. And it did. And the second time I caught an EVP um, while I was, because I was doing an EVP session while I was, it happened, and I said, you know, who's doing this? And you hear, get out. <laughs> we you have to do a lot of EVPs yeah. tonight. Uh, yeah, this hotel's it's known for EVPs. Yeah, we haven't even been doing them in a while. Like, we, it's been a while EVPs. since we've done EVPs. Yeah. Dude, we have to. Okay, yeah. yeah. Through the, the box we use, the Phasma box, and I said, yeah, Frank, Frank doesn't like the women. And you hear a woman say he hates them. And then oh. I said, and Frank has strangled me twice. And just before I started saying something again, he goes, you liked it. What? what? Well, so the real question was. Yeah, you, you got you got to confirm. Yeah. The yeah. You got to you got to yeah. confirm. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Talk about it all the time. So. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's why your husband doesn't like this. Don't let, <laughs> don't let your husband watch this video. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who who's Frank again? He's their bodyguard up here. Oh. And we okay. have caught EVPs of Anna and him fighting. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yep. Uh, please don't call the ladies anything but ladies of the evening. Um, okay. Would, I ask you to be respectful for them, especially any of the spirits. I have to live here 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> ladies of the evening and ladies Frank the is evening. the bodyguard. But she does like money and she will love some of you guys with the facial hair. Just, just saying. Man. Just saying. So, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm out on that one. Oh, jeez. Oh, let's All get right, off to a good old. start real hey. quick. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Oh, put it in the jar. Looks like Brandon's a man of the Okay, we'll just start off the evening right. right. What is happening here? Oh, what the what? What? Was that last word, Brandon? <laughs> so Brandon would be the. There you go. Oh my gosh. So this um, is our scrying room. Uh, this is our haunted mirror. And the whole concept of scrying is to make it very dark in here. Use the candle, hold it up in front of you so you can illuminate your face. Stare through yourselves, focus on your through your eyes or the tip of your nose, and then just try to put yourself in a meditative state. Somebody can be in here filming or, or photo cut, phot photography, but no flash because you'll just blind yourself out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes your face will morph in the mirror, and sometimes we catch things standing behind you. What? So kind of like a black mirror. Hey, Sounds like it'd be really hey, fun hey, for hey. other people to do. They'd probably have a good time, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they'd, do. Probably, they'd probably have a blast doing that. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure that's probably, it sounds great. Yeah, because you don't got any facial hair, so you should try it. Right. No, they only like the people with facial hair, though, though. Right, you yeah. should try it while we go see the rest of the house. No, I, you know, I can't, though. Oh, you guys can shower yeah, in the morning. Wow, that's a really nice bathroom. Look at this toilet. Whoops. This early. This is called the Roosevelt Room. Eleanor Roosevelt stayed here, and this was her favorite room. So, um, crazy. This is also known for Vincent. Now, Vincent was said to have hung himself in this room. Stock market crash in 1929. We hear him. Um, he calls himself Vinny. Okay. And if you happen to be downstairs at the great room, Sometimes you will hear furniture dragging across this floor. Across this floor, yeah. you'll hear from Doug. Okay. Downstairs. And you'll hear pacing and then like a, literally like a dresser dragging across the floor. Like huh. if this was thing was being dragged across the floor. Huh. How did he hang? I mean, I just don't see I it. I think it's right here right in here. the doorway possibly. I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah, uh, so this <laughs> is um, a bedroom that my staff actually got pulled out of. 
grabbed by the ankles and yanked. Oh, and we nice. had a couple other people the same experience. Oh, um, I actually sure. saw a shadow person. I was standing on the other side of the bed and snapping a photo because I was putting the radiators in and I wanted to remember how big the window was and the layout. And mm -hmm. as I put the phone up, he walked right across Shadow Arson. So you were literally like right here? I was right, right, right there. You're yep. standing right here. Yep. Wow. And if I had it running video running, I would have got it. Swan attention. It's crazy. Yeah. Is it toasty? It's a toasty one. It's a toasty one. These rooms don't seem to be the same quality build as the rest, but... <laughs> So you were saying in the beginning when the guy got this that this was the best. This was the good. This was the good level. Good part. Yes. Wow. I wonder how bad those were. Jeez. The room you're in right now is Joe's room. Okay. Joe was our mafia hitman. Ooh. When you asked him through EVP, um, he'll say how many people did you kill? He'll say 107. We've gotten that many times. There's wow. There's plaster coming off the wall, so we just have this here. But this is Jonathan's room. Jonathan was about eight. I don't know his story, but um, he will some hopefully sometimes will roll balls out. And, wow. Yeah, he's a he used to call me mama. He hasn't heard have heard of that in a while, but this could be the hub for the expanding amount we of activity. We have four portals in the hotel. This wow. is one of them. Where are the other yeah. three? I feel like we've walked past some of them already. Gentlemen's quarters. Mm. Oh. <laughs> did I forget to mention that? Yeah, actually you did, but I appreciate it because we've already all agreed to sleep in there. This is one of our more popular rooms up here. Um, this is called Adam's room, and we feel Adam's a serial killer. Whoa, okay. Whoa. He says he's killed 38 people. Wow, that's not too many. Um, people do get scratched in here, um, choked things like that. I have an agreement with Adam. I don't have any equipment right now, Adam, so I can't hear you. When we come back up here later, he does like to tell people to get out of this mm. room. So if you get that tonight, that's pretty common because that's my agreement with him. Mm. But he tells me very clearly, you know, on certain terms, it's, at least it's interaction with him and I'll step outside the door. Guests don't have to leave, but that's, that's my agreement. This is Claire's room. Claire, hung herself in here. Oh, wow. um, she was an unwed mother. Her boyfriend, her lover, did not want anything to do with her or the baby. Many mediums say that they can see her staring out this window and just waiting. And um, she's a very sweet soul in here. Sometimes she's sad, sometimes she's happy. Something well, just touched yeah. Brandon's ears. Very clearly just touched my ears. I thought there was a string hanging from the light. There is no string. I thought I walked into the light. It literally was like draped over my ear for a second. Dude, well, by the end of the night, you are going to be walking into the light. What? Okay, cool, great. Now, there's no electric and there's no air conditioning, but it is the bottom floor, so it's not going to be as bad. Yeah. Um, you guys want to, you can take a seat if you want. And sure. Okay, so I'm setting up the music boxes where it's motion activated. They like flashlights here. So, um, that's me, I'm just testing it. Ooh. That's actually pretty creepy too. You twist the mag lights to where they're barely on and barely off. Um, they can come in and finish the connection because of their energy of uh, the light bulb and the flash light in the battery. We're also, we use the little flashy balls here. Yeah. Cat, oh, balls. The cat balls. So we'll That's put one the there. Games. The REM pod, which the other night we set this on the, our um, Ouija board out there and it was incredible the responses we were getting yes you know the answers off of. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh you see that? Flashlight over there just went off. Yeah. 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 Could you do that again? That's calibrating. Oh I know that one. Yeah. That's my yeah. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh flashlight. flashlight. Thank you. He's ready too. Mm. Alright. The geo box scans through AM station, live AM station, 
you shouldn't it's going scan so fast you shouldn't hear more than a little blip of am radio um but we get full-blown sentences out of this what we're listening for is uh, responses to our questions same voice coming over and some nights this is incredible some nights you'll have to go listen back when you film and go oh that's what that said hey, is there anybody here Interrupting you? Come closer to the box. Yo, something just moved back there. Yep. curious to hear that back later it was almost like because you're saying this is like a dining room yeah. area right so it's like the murmurs that you would hear when people are just eating yeah. yeah it's almost like people are like still in the dining room well we have a, a cook named emma emma emma's the known spirit that was the hotel cook and when we start hearing her voice we'll go oh emma what's for dinner and stuff and one night through here we hear a man go emma huh. and then like oh emma can you cook for me because i'm a terrible cook and somebody said, Emma, what's for dinner? And about, it took about a minute. Yeah. But after, as soon as you heard that, a man said, juicy burgers. Ah, Clear as a bell. Juicy. Yeah. That's so, awesome. That's I kind of explained to you how this works. Yeah. It's five pre-recorded radio stations. I don't have it on live radio. Um, it just scans through the word banks and radio, the pre-recorded radios. Um, they put reverb in it, just like anything else, to help lengthen the sound. 
Um, what we, what we're looking, listening for is intelligent responses, because not everything you hear out of this is going to be paranormal. But also, when you listen back, listen back to things we're not we're not catching. Can you say one of our guest names? Wendy. Mm hmm. Wendy. Did it say Wendy? I thought I heard like not Lex. sure. I, I heard, heard like, D at the end. I heard like Lexi or something. <laughs> Elton. Was it? I felt I felt like that was Elton. He didn't feel like it was Elton. I thought that was Elton. Who was here with us? They're all listening. <sighs> Yeah. I'm here, yeah. I'm right here. What? Do you know what you're cooking tonight, Emma? No. See the flashlight? Yeah. No. Yeah. Flashlight went off? Yeah. And it showed like a really big. It must have been that quick. It was quick. No. It was a very quick flash. Okay. Did I just say sorry, Corbin? I heard, I, heard, I, said, I, I thought heard I heard it, Corey, and, I, yeah. and I didn't want to say anything. That's why I'm threatening to hurt you? To punch him? To punch, to punch him? him? That was a long response, that had to be. Can you tell me how many guests are in here? 24? 24? I heard 24. What should we eat? I swear I heard you can have a Big Mac. <laughs> have a Big Mac. <laughs> a Big Mac, huh? <laughs> no. no. Where Where should we go next? What is here? I heard basement. There's a basement. Up. Basement, and then it said up. All right, we're gonna take off. It's, is it saying to not leave? <laughs> I got nothing on me. Do you, you want us to stay here? You actually have to, you actually have to like either, no, I'm gonna say stamp near it, but you actually have to actually get very close in there to touch that. I just saw something really weird. What did you see? Nobody's moving, that's kinda neat. Dude, look at my arms right now. What did you see? What did you see? Do you want us to leave? <laughs> Goodbye. That's exactly You realize this only started as soon as I got up and yeah, got exactly. ready to leave. If you don't want us to leave, to turn a light on or use another device. What did you see? So you see that thing shining back there? Like the yeah, only oh, thing yep, shining? Yep. I thought that that was a mirror and I was looking at myself and then went this way. And then I go back and I look and what I'm like... That? What was that? Actually, what was that? I heard a knock. What did you hear from you? What the f***? What was that? That wasn't you. Huh? That wasn't you. No, look, bro. That was a heavy knock. That was a big, like, knocker. You're rolling, right? Yeah. Okay, we have the audio of it. What the hell? And then I go back and I look and I'm like... And then I go back and I look and I'm like... That would have been the clearest knock I've ever heard. Ever. That was a really big knock. Like, I felt it. I literally, like, felt that on my, like, through the floor. Uh, we should also charge the battery. It's at 70 minutes. That one? Yeah. Charge. I have two more of those, so. Oh, okay. with being choked out by spirits, but a little spider gets you. This, uh, oh. reminds me of conjuring a lot. Yes. This reminds oh, me of the, oh, this, no is, this is so conjuring house. It's insane. This reminds me of the basement of the Blair house. The Lair House? Mm. Yep, this is exactly how the Blair House basement was. Yeah, no it is. It's very similar. Crazy how giant this place is, and then the basement's just like so small. Um, now that area there is what we call the morgue. And. What do you call it that? Because they say back in the day, when oh. the ground was too frozen to dig, they would have to store the body Ooh. someplace. I know to leave one foot outside the door at all times. I'm going in. I'm going in with you. You probably won't. I will. Watch him. So like, this would be, yeah, we'll that would be under too. the porch, and the shamans would close for the winter. So. Oh, oh wow, boy. Yeah. 
Oh wow. There's a lot oh. of good places to leave somebody alone with a camera. Oh wow. If the wood wasn't brand new above it, that'd be the best thumbnail. Oh my gosh. You guys remember how I was crawling last night? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the spider webs next to you. Oh Jesus. What, you ran into one? What do you want for your birthday? Come here, come on. Come on, what do you want for your birthday? Oh my god, uh, there is a sticky ghost over here. Come on. Go go to Elton. Come on, what do you want? Come oh here. my god. Elton, dude. One one at a time, boys. Come on, one at a time. Yep, go on, go on sit on Satan's lap. Yeah, uh, wait your turn. Okay, right. I'll wait my turn. Okay. I want I want one possession. Yeah. I count on three, you're gonna be possessed, and that's how you are for the rest of the night. Oh my god, it's about me. <laughs> Birthday gift granted. Go on, carry on out. Alright, guys, let's go. Let's investigate. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're gonna walk in spider webs, dog. Get away oh. from the corner. Get away from the, the corner. The corner of the spider web. Alright, oh, who's next? Come on. What do you want for your birthday? I don't want anything. Oh, what do you want? Um, um, sit on Satan's lap. I was that. There you go. I was wondering if maybe you could give me true love. Do you even know what love is, boy? Love is when. You wake up in the morning next to the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with, yep. and you go straight to the kitchen, and, mm -hmm. and you make eggs and toast and sweet potatoes, and then you mm -hmm. cut up apples, and then you bring it to them, and you wake them up, mm -hmm. and then when they wake up, they look at you, mm -hmm. and then they're like, how the f*** did you get in my house? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds like love to me, too. A lot of these guys out down here have been asked that question many times. Can you give me rhythm? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't have rhythm. I sit around, I see Corey, mm -hmm. I see him do his little ditty yeah. that he does, but I just, I, I can't, I can't do it. Do you, know, do you know why he can do that ditty? Why can't he do it? Because he sold his soul to me for that ditty. I did not do that. Jesus Christ is my savior. Where's your cross? You know why Jesus Christ is your savior? Why? He sold your soul to me and now he's got to save you. So Jesus Christ would not be your savior if you didn't put yourself in a predicament in which you need to be saved. I never sold my soul. Right. I you sold my Mustang. You're right, you gave it to me because you are a terrible negotiator. All you like is I want to learn how to do the wave and I'll give you my soul and I was like, deal. It was a head spin. It was a head spin. So you're telling me that in order to get rid of them... I'll be honest though with you, that head spin, I got it wrong. I was meant to make your head spin around and instead I turned you into a b-boy. So that's my f*** up and I apologize. <laughs> Maybe I don't need rhythm. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's good go rhythm, Corbin. Okay, let's investigate now. <laughs> oh. Is that like going off now? Yeah, you see that? It's about yeah. to turn off. Can you turn off the flashlight if you're here, Jamie? If this is you? Try a little harder. We're almost there. All the way, shut it down. So we have a six-year-old in here we think is Jamie. We have a spirit called TJ down here who was a bartender in the 1980s. He died of Agent Orange complications. He was from Vietnam. Oh, the poisonous gas? Yeah. Um, we have a spirit named Charlie down here, which he likes to be called Your Majesty. So I'm not quite sure Interesting. who he is or maybe what he is. There's a Okay. Oh, they just walked out. Yeah. 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 It's more in the hallway, right? Down that portal, yeah. Hey, Majesty. Can you can you do that again? Was that your Majesty? Flashlight. Oh, oh. flashlight on. That's really neat. I wow. like that flashlight a lot. Does he feel like he's a king? Yes. Both just turned Whoa. on. Whoa! As you so. said that, both flashlights just turned on. Jamie, if you're here, can you do something else for us? The music box or the REM pods again? I have a digi-recorder. We can do a couple of EVP sessions, see if we get anything. I would love that. Got an empty chair next to me if you want to come sit over here. If you don't want to sit by Elton, you can just shut the light off because we'll all understand. 
It was like turning the flashlight off, and then as soon as Elton said that, it just completely stopped. Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. What? Yeah. Come sit next to me. Come on, dude. That was so amazing that both flashlights turned on. I know, yeah. dude. That was insane. If you don't want to sit next to Elton, you could turn those lights on just to tell us. Maybe we'll see. Come back here. Are we talking to your majesty? Or are we talking to TJ? Is TJ the one that portrays himself as the devil? No. No, 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 no that's oh, your majesty. Yeah. Oh. Is your majesty here? Are you here because you feel as though we were accidentally impersonating you? Or mm. I was accidentally that's, impersonating you? I don't think it was accidental. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't know that your majesty was here prior to doing that. That's true. Same I apologize side. if that's the case. If you accept my apology, you can turn the light off, and if you were mad at me, you can brighten it or turn on the other one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks Elton. for accepting my apology. Elton doesn't apologize very often. So. That is very rare. Well, when I'm talking to Satan, That's I'll, true. I'll say sorry. Now, Jamie's great. If any of you guys have birthdays coming up... Elton! Um, yeah. Uh, Jamie's birthday. great at saying happy birthday. So Jamie, one of these guests, his name is Elton, and he has a birthday coming up soon. Very it would be very special if you could say happy birthday to him. That would be awesome. Can you say happy birthday? I swear in my life, I felt like someone just sat in that chair next to me. Oh, right when you said that. Birthday. Oh, birthday. Oh, birthday. Oh, one more time. Whoa, that's very cool. If you're not sitting next to Elton again, can you shine something? Or... Can you tell us? Satan. I just heard Satan. Names? Do you know them? That's Elton. That's Elton. Do you know our names? I heard sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart. Yeah. Isn't sweetheart on the third floor? A sweet thing. Hello. <laughs> to hear Jamie's voice. Is it's it not. true that there's a portal down here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can a lot of spirits come through the portal at any time that they want? Many clients. Do you have any clients? Yeah. Anna. Anna. Come say hi. hi. It's Anna. It's Anna. Come the bordello. It just said, come say hi. Come yeah. say hi. Okay, we are. We'll come up. The music box behind you lit up for just a half a second. Oh, really? Oh. Come up. All right. Anna, we're going to come up to you. All right, well, you want to say bye to Corbin? I'm going to find you. 
Get back to Corbin. I'm gonna find you fast. That sounds. By the way, your ten minutes don't start until he's upstairs on the third floor. How do I? How so if he takes like ten minutes to get up there, how's he gonna know when I'm? I'll know. Wait, so okay. she has security so cameras, so I can say actually see until, until you get up there. Well, there's a security camera, so I can actually see once you're up there, and I'll also know if you don't go up there. And then he can't even start his ten minutes until you've gone up there. Corbin, you better be the best with your direction. Also, I oh. set up a bunch of cameras up there that are all time coded, so I'll also know on our cameras whether or not you stay up there. Time code, schmine code. Okay, you ready? I well, I'm hanging out with him for a minute. Or no, five, no. ten minutes no. here with him. No, 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 no. So head on up. Hey, hey, I don't need another smelly ghost in here. <laughs> Look at that spot. No you more like smelly ghosts. You like Sith the Sloth from Ice Age. Like, oh. What was that? Okay, ready? Come on. No here. more smelly ghosts for you. I'm staying here. I'm These are the wrong steps. Here. This is a different upstairs. I gotta go to the other, other yeah. upstairs. Wait, wait, wait. I should have that door closed until my 10 minutes start. Oh, yeah, alright. Brandon, the longer you take, the more you punish Corbin. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. Right. Here we go. When the door closes, it's every ten minutes. Uh yep. Okay, have fun. Uh, have fun staring at yourself. Have fun, cause you know I'm not. Have fun. Uh, have fun. Have fun looking at yourself in a dark, scary mirror. That at any point in time, Satan could pop up behind you and take your soul away from you while you're locked in this door. Your so ten anyway. minutes starts now. Okay. I'm just. Coming up here to- Oh, you piece of sh- <laughs> You- <laughs> You piece of sh- uh, I, I honestly can't see a single thing in this room. So, I don't even know where there's a chair. Maybe I can sit in a chair. Well, ladies of the evening, we are uh, honored to be in your presence. Rosie as well. Frank, we know you're here to protect these ladies, and we mean them absolutely no harm. You heard that noise and that flashlight turned on, right? It absolutely. So we're here just because we love traveling and being able to communicate with spirits and those that still reside within our world that we cannot see. And we have heard many great things about this place and the people that stay here those that come and go, and those that are permanent residents. So there's flashlights set up that you can obviously manipulate. There's a REM pod over there that if you put your energy into it, we even have a K2 on the table. And you even have your own toy in Rosie's room that if you make any vibration, it'll set it off. 10 minutes is a lot longer than you think whenever, uh... You're in the creepy top floor attic, farthest room away from all your friends. I hear a REM pod. I think my coping mechanism is if I just don't shut up. Well, first it's cookies, then I just talk. If you want to say hello back, could you turn off that flashlight? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we know there's quite a few people up here and we'd love to learn whom we're speaking to. There's almost a device in, next to each person's name. One device that's directly in between Maddie and Anna. So if you're Anna, would you please mind turning off the light within the next five seconds? And if you're Maddie, you can turn the light off shortly after. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're not Anna. You're Maddie. Nice to meet you, Maddie. Hello. <laughs> that was pretty, uh... Spot on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Waited exactly for the five seconds to be able to be like, hey, yep. I'm Maddie. 
And it wasn't flickering either. I noticed my face start, start to change a little bit when I look at it. And I think that if you look at your face long enough, you don't really see yourself. Maddie, if you're out here with me right now, could you turn that flashlight off again? I know, I heard it. Again, right That's the third noise from Maddie's room. And the flashlight turned off. Every time we've heard a noise, the flashlight turns off. We were in this room earlier when she was giving us a tour. I was the last one leaving the room and I felt something touch my ear. Like, not like a quick touch, it was like a caress on my ear. Like it touched my ear, it like dragged down my ear. I want to know who did that and I'm here to talk to you. I also Maddie. brought this up if you want me to turn it on. Yeah, we can do that or the new one. <laughs> you want me to turn this device on? Turn it off. You like speaking through this? My shadow from this light is just right over me. It almost feels like somebody is standing right, bus right behind you. What the f***? Is there anyone above us? That felt like below. Wait, there's no way anything's below us. Wait, wait, what, what's below us? What, Evan, what's below us? The entrance to the uh, gentleman's club. But no one's in there. Corbin would be in the scrying mirror. Which is over there. Right, but even still, what would he you be? Oh, wait. was he moving the chair? It hasn't been 10 minutes ago. Somebody up here, whoever's up here, if that was you, Touched my ear when we were up here earlier. Now it's just me. Everybody else is in a whole separate section of this building, not even close to here, so it's just me. Feel free to come in, say hi, make yourself known in any way possible. Hello. We can't see you, but I think that you're able to see us. It's Anna. Anna. It's Anna. Hey, Anna. Dude, my eyes just got instantly it's water. Anna. Hey, Anna. Thank you so much for talking with us. Are you sitting in the chair right in front of me, Anna? The chair. Now I'm really just kind of starting to contemplate my life decisions. How did I get here? <sighs> Corbin, if you can please hurry up. Oh. Are you playing with the flashlight? <laughs> I heard play, and I didn't know what the other words were. Yeah, I thought I heard you can blame me. I heard like, did it play? I know nothing can, like, a house can't be alive. But for some reason, this house feels very alive. Somewhere out there, there's a music box. And if you walk in front of it, unfortunately, I will know where you are. Ten minutes is too much for this. Sit back, sit back and relax, okay? 
Sit back and relax. I'm gonna hold the flashlight in my hand. What? What? I'm gonna hold the flashlight in my hand, I'm gonna hold it perfectly still. And in theory, we'd be holding hands. Is that okay with you? I want to see if you can still play at the flashlight. It's on. Is it? It's on. I actually, I can't. It's on. Okay, Anna, if that's you, could you now turn the flashlight off? You're welcome to come join me. Only if you're like chill though. Give me some sort of sign. There's a REM pod over by the staircase. I should be able to hear it from all the way over here. And there's the music box. I'm the devil. I'm the devil. I'm gonna hand the flashlight to Corey, okay? If you could show us how aware you are, I'm gonna hand it to Corey. If you could turn it off a few seconds after. That would truly prove to us that you have control over this environment. I'm gonna count to five again, okay? It's off. Oh. Did it turn off as I handed it to him? I think so, yeah. With I mean I literally said if I'm gonna I I something it. I grabbed it. That's okay. what it said. I grabbed it. Anna, did you just grab the flashlight and make it turn off? Uh huh. Is that what it said? It sounded like, uh huh. Breaking. Thinking, breaking. Brandon, Corbin, come here. Oh my god. Where are you? Back here, in the farthest possible way. Watch out, there's a motion light that's gonna go off. It scared the shit out of me. Holy crap. And then crap. There's, there's this also that scared the shit out of me. I cannot believe you came up here. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't see a single thing in this room. I only know like kind of where the chair is because I was... Oh, dude, I can't see anything. Yeah. It was terrible. Oh. Oh, that is so... <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Where's my bag of cookies? You got a cookie bag? Yeah, I got one more cookie bag. How did you do this? Are you happy here? Oh, it's on. So you are happy here. Well, that's nice to hear. This Frank. Really great. It's really great. It's really great. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Does Frank keep you safe here, and Maddie and Rosie keep you company? Cold. Cold. Is it cold here? Does Frank keep you cold here? Um, the battery. I'm surprised. Um, the battery? I, I heard I'm um, the battery. Huh. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> How is the mirror? Um, I will say, I just, I get a bit freaked out when it's just looking at myself. Uh-huh. For I that long. Like the mirror thing. The mirror thing is too much. Like, our timer is on now. What, do we have 10 more minutes up here? Yes. We have 10 more minutes up here and then we could go down. If anybody wants to play ball with us, could you roll the ball towards us and we'll push it back to you. Does anybody want to play with the ball? Yo, 
was explaining to the camera how like I can shine a light all at the camera and they should be able to see this light like crazy. But yeah, exactly. Looking at my eyes, like I can't see anything. <laughs> Do you think we should ask some questions? Yeah, I like started to ask a couple questions. You started to ask questions up here alone? Well, I delayed it like as much as I literally just talked to myself most of the time and ate cookies. But <laughs> then I started asking questions and then I was like, maybe I shouldn't ask questions. Because oh. if I start getting answers by myself, I'm going to get freaked out. Have you choked people up here before? They wanted it. Oh, the flashlight's going crazy. Okay, I'm going to turn this device off now. Every time you say you're gonna turn it off, it laughs. Is that on Brandon? Alright. Well, we have Corbin up here now. Yes, I am here. Um, so you can use any one of our devices to talk to us. And I wanna know, did did anybody touch him? We have a recording device sitting on the floor. So you can speak through that. You can set off the music box, which is a motion detector. So if you are stepping anywhere in the hallway, we'll know. And also over by the staircase, if you're over that way, we'll hear you passing the REM pod. You can come down this way. We're in the back room. Okay. If you want to say anything to us through this new device, we've never used this before. We'd love it if you showed us how it worked. Okay, then we'll pick it up then. Does anybody live up here on the third floor? Were you getting anything before? No, I was asking for, I mean, I didn't ask for a long time, but I was asking yeah. for it to give me any sign, like any knocks, any of the devices in the hallway, anything. And mm -hmm. I wasn't getting it, really. Nothing. Huh. Do you like to prank people by touching their ears or touching them sometimes? Is Anna and Maddie sitting right next to me and then also in that chair? Hello. Um, hey, friends. Hey. Our friends have already come up with us if that's okay with you. Hello. Just um, don't sit on our friends, please. Okay. Where are you? You can sit in that chair and you can sit in this chair. Yeah. Okay. This blue one? Mm -hmm. No, the one over. There. And then that one. I can sit in this one. Those are the only open seats in the house right now. Would you like me to put these anywhere? Sure. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, uh, the recorder I turned off. Cool. I'm going to put this. Watch the other uh, one. I'm going to put this. Did you hear that? Elton? Is that what it said? Yeah, yeah. Actually, would you mind putting it in Anna's room? Yeah. There's a chance that it could very well go off in Anna's room. Anna's, would you like me to put it on the Anna's head? Been talking to us. Put it on the floor, really? probably. Yeah. Because we turned it on and we asked who we were talking to, and it goes, It's Anna. They just joined us up here. What? What? My name's Anna. <laughs> My name's Anna. Dude, Anna, you are doing so good. Hi, Anna. There are people. There are people. Oh, there yeah. are people. Dude. My eyes are like about to I cry. I see that. Yeah. Hey, it's not about to cry. You're we, crying, bro. We came up and it said, It's Anna. And I just asked her to introduce herself. And she said, My name's Anna. So you know, we're not here as customers, but as friends. Although I did leave some money in there earlier. We found it. We found it. We found, we it. found it. Also, Anna's the room I left the money in. Yeah. yeah and that was right. the voice that said, My name's Anna. I just realized that. 
Anna's the room we left the money in. Yeah. Yeah. And then we go all the way to the basement, and Anna wants. Did to you say just hi. turn this on? I just saw it light up. I no. watched that light up. It's off now. I never turned it off. You saw that light up. I watched it light up. Yeah. Anna, you were doing so good talking to us. Thank you. So Thank you so much. No problem. Anna, what was your occupation? I see guys. Anna, have you stopped talking to us because Frank is not letting you anymore? You can always leave and come back when he's not here again. No. no. Is Frank making you say that? I can play with you. You know what I like? Ladies of the evening, there's quite a large hotel that we're in here. Would you mind if we saw a different part of it? And tried to speak to some of your other neighbors. We can always come back later. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. We'll come back and say goodbye to you in the morning. But for now, we'd like to see some of the rest of the Shanley Hotel. I just said go then. Mm. Go then. We'll stay here as long as you leave the light on. And when it turns off, we'll take that as our cue to leave. Also, Anna, we have that device in your room and you could go you could go stand on it or you could put your hand on the antenna to tell us that you're here. My world. My world. I heard my world. Okay. That's Frank saying it's his world. Well, Frank, if you would let Anna touch that, that would be great. The flashlight turned off. All right, Frank and the ladies of the evening. We're gonna head off to a different part of the hotel, but we will come back in the morning to say goodbye. Thanks for spending this time with us. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. We went up there. If you want, you can go up there while we sit up in this room. What room are you setting up in? I thought we were going to go to, uh, what was it? Are you using your rose or the room? What room are you in here? Eleanor. Someone possibly hung themselves. Eleanor stayed there yes. and someone hung themselves. That's right. That one I don't remember. And then there's a silent room. Hello. So this was Eleanor's favorite room to stay in. Yeah. She was here. It's a very low chair. That is a very low chair. Oh yeah. Already. How do you use them? You just put your finger on the back and then the volume's on the side. Okay. And the top makes it scan faster and slower. Hmm. That was You just saw something? Lightning fast, yep. Is this the room you want us in? I'm gonna put a light right here. Facing that way. I'm gonna put another light right here, facing the opposite way. Nice. I think they both. This one not. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I'm getting the other one on, okay? You can communicate through both. There we go. I think you can turn. Yeah. You can turn this one off as well. Crazy. This really makes me believe it even more. What? Huh? I guess that's oh. This one off at Cecil and Queen Mary. Yeah, here. Nothing. 
I mean, this hasn't gone off since we've gotten it. Are you a female? She lit it up because you're a female? Okay. Warn me next time? Is that what it said? No, you scared the shit out of me. Oh. <laughs> I did hear warn. Be very quiet. Can you tell us what side of the bed you like to sleep on? I'm assuming then you like to sleep on the left side of the bed. Do you mind if Corbin lays on the right side of the bed? Brandon was. Brandon said he felt his ear get pulled. Oh, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? What? It picked up two for a split second. Shut off the light if you would like Brandon to sleep or to stay on that right side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's called a backfire. How's it feel, man? Alright, I'm gonna hop on the bed. I'm just sitting in the chair. Exactly where Brandon said he felt his ear get pulled. Right by all the money, the offerings. Did you touch our friend's ear? Yeah, yeah. yeah I do. If you want to say yes, use this flashlight right here that I'm touching. If you want to say no, use this flashlight on the right. Are you a, possibly a cat? No. Sitting in the chair? Because it happened right after Brandon was playing with the toy. If you look at this, there's no way it's a person. And this wouldn't know how to map a animal. Touch. The yes flashlight if you like Brandon sleeping here. Touch the no flashlight if you do not like Brandon sleeping here. I don't want to put you on the spot or anything. Was it a yes? Yes. That's a yes. We know he's a cute guy. Thank you, cute guy. Thank you, thank you. Evan, stay up. Evan, stay up. Has him all night? Or upstairs? Look at my heart. Do you know what I was about to say? What? I really want to try this in the room we're sleeping in. What room? Like downstairs. The, oh, with, with all of us? The yeah. five beds? I really wanted to try this. Evan? Dude. Whoa. Dude, it said Evan, stay up, and then it said Evan again. Well, that's cool. You don't want to stay up there? Mm -hmm. Stay up all night. Can you turn the light off so we can answer another question? So you can answer another question? If you want to talk to us. I think we should just talk through the lights. Yeah. It turned off. Yeah. Do you... How about this? Remember that that light that you just turned on, that's yes, and the other light is no. Are you the person that hung themselves in this room? It's okay if you did. We just want to know. We won't judge you. Oh, I can for sure fit, bro. Kill that. I 
think I can finish. What are you gonna do? You just grab somebody's leg? Huh? Are you just gonna grab somebody's leg? Yeah, that's the goal. But I don't know if I can fit. You know how I can fit? It sounds really dumb. But can you lift up the bed? Yeah. And then let me go underneath it, because there's a soft spot in the middle. I don't like. Oh wait, and you gotta lift up the box on the frame. Damn. Okay, now sit it down. Right. Yeah, you can keep going. Okay. Cool. <laughs> we might come back here tonight, so I hope you can keep this portal open or keep this this open with us. And thank you for speaking to us. Can you turn that light off? To say goodbye? Yeah. Turn the light off to say goodbye, please. You almost had it. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. The best is when you stand on the ground. We need to actually start doing flashlights in more places. We need to get somebody. Gentlemen's room. Does that mean there's gentlemen in here? Is there anyone in this room with us? First off, we'd like to introduce ourselves. No, you oh, holy shit. Er, you <laughs> bastard and a half. Wow. That's gonna be a shaky shot. Man. Wait, wait, did you guys all know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know. know. You did? I helped him get under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going to the car. Out. I literally can't fit out. Hey, Corbin, can you move over? I think I need, uh, yeah, I need I think to so lay down. Too. Oh, no. Jeez, oh, man. Yeah, this oh, no. Wow, it's been a long day. Yeah, just pass, it's man. been a long day. Oh, I mean, now we have all this. <laughs> I actually can't do it. Oh, <laughs> man, dude. This guy benches. <laughs> How much can this guy bench? <laughs> there he goes. Wow. Can oh no. You, you imagine if this I, happened at Hellhole? Man, I feel so bad. <laughs> We're so interested in getting a TV show if any major network wants to hire us. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What's up, everyone? If you want to have an overnight adventure with us where your friends keep you trapped underneath the bed for hours and hours, you can head over to SenateSociety.com and for every dollar you spend equals one entry. The other way is if you leave a like and a comment on this video, that equals one entry. And every video you do that on equals another one. And every month it restarts. And then we'll bring you to whatever cool place you want to stay overnight for. And it'll, it'll be a fun, fun time. We'll make a great video. It'll be really fun. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, this actually really hurts and I feel like I'm gonna be fair. Ah! What are you doing? Oh my oh, god. Shit. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> this guy, this guy with the dead limb. <laughs> Was it worth it? Yeah. Well, can I see the footage? Was the footage worth it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, really then yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for watching. I uh, appreciate you tuning in on this overnight stay at the, at the Haunted Shanley Hotel, which I think lived up to its name. Yeah. Yeah, we had some good stuff, mm -hmm. for sure. And we yeah. learned some new things, too. A lot of new tools, mm -hmm. a lot of new oh. things that we use every day, flashlights that we had no idea you could do that with. Flashlights were the best. So oh, those were great. Ooh. Very, very interesting night. <sighs> yeah. How'd you guys sleep? I slept pretty good. I slept yeah. good. You know, I know I was in a room with all of you guys. Anyone grab your ankles more the night for me? No, but I remember Corey's like, you know, I'm not really 
scared anymore. I'm going to sleep upstairs. And then after I went to the bathroom, Corey was uh, sleeping with Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. I do remember Corey saying, I'll get my own bed upstairs in Anna's room. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. was about like 30 other beds in this place. Yeah. <laughs> we all chose yeah. one room. Yeah. That's how that's it goes. goes. The AC yeah. wasn't as good upstairs. That's so. true. That's, oh, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. That's definitely the AC. Sense. For yeah. sure, yeah. Sure. Well, what, what was that song that you were singing yesterday about the rules? I feel like we need to do like a farewell song. To the sweat drop down my balls. No, 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 oh, not, yeah. that, not, um, that, not that, not that one. Uh, the one about the rules where you like. I, don't, I think. You remember it? I don't know how it was. Oh, Does oh, anyone remember what it was? I'm a mirror on the wall in the chair in the room, and I don't want to sit because I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. You wanna, you wanna sing us out? Yeah, but I'm gonna need some backup vocals because that really brings out my true uh, beauty in, in these pipes. Okay, all right, ready? So we'll just give them a nice little. Mm. Oh, that bam, 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 <laughs> See you guys in the next video, Lizzie Borden, Bed and Breakfast. <laughs> I got no brain power this early in the morning. I just woke up. Let's go. <laughs>